head down to Coral Gables. Miami beats Duke 53 to 31. It sounds like they beat the brakes off of them, but this one, this was a lot closer than the final score indicates. Duke really hung tough for more than three quarters in this one, but Cam Ward does Cam Ward like things. And in the end, they put up more points than the other team. 53 31. Steve, a uh, big name prospect on campus, the number one ranked offensive tackle in the 2026 class, Jackson Cantwell, was in Miami, and it sounds like he had a great time. Yeah, I think we're going to see Miami become a major contender for Jackson Cantwell moving forward. You have Alabama, Georgia, LSU, Missouri, Nebraska in play. He also visited Oregon and USC in the summer. But with each win, and Miami shows so much grit in all their wins. I think they are a tremendous second-half team. The adjustments they make in the locker room, uh, things they do late in the games, they have the medal and the toughness to win these games. And with each victory, the support, they rally around them just a little bit more. Yeah. But Mario Cristobal and company trying to restore this program into a national title caliber team. They had the 2026 recruits on campus to keep them breathing that air for years to come. But Jackson Cantwell loves that this is an offensive line-based program. That's where Cristobal's heart is at. He's a former offensive lineman at Miami. Him and Coach Alex Mirabal, the offensive line coach, those guys are extremely close. Uh, and, and he's got a track record of success developing some of the best offensive linemen in college football. So that speaks to him. Uh, the atmosphere, where Miami's at as a program, the style of play, it's fun. Uh, they're scoring a ton of points. They're making key plays on defense. They had some really talented recruits on campus Saturday for this one. And we'll see what happens moving forward. Mm -hmm. But I think they'll ultimately land some of these guys. Yeah, I, I, I mean, this is the formula. If you're going to land the number one offensive tackle in the 2026 class, you better get him on campus during the 2024 season. And that's just what they did. And he wasn't the only elite 2026 prospect on campus. On three's number one tight end, Kendra Harrison, he was there as well. Also, edge rusher Anthony Jones. Uh, what did Miami do? What did the win do to impact these recruits? Well, we're still waiting to hear back from those guys, but we just know that Miami is a program that they had a top five recruiting class last year. They're going to make a run at it this year, trying to score some big flips down the stretch. They always find a way to get into the middle of these recruiting battles mm -hmm. for the nation's best. And those are two guys that I think it wouldn't be surprising if we see them back at Miami down the road. All right. So, yep. Yeah. Um, Miami also making an impact with running back uh, Derek mm -hmm. Cooper. This is something that Miami's been trying to do. They've been trying to win over some of these local recruits before you know they get committed to an Ohio State or an Auburn or an Alabama. Have you heard? I mean, is Miami kind of making a little headway when it comes to these local prospects? Well, yeah. I mean, uh, Jalen Waters on campus for a second straight game committed to – to Florida, Derek Cooper, the on three RPM favors Miami for him already. He's we talked about it on Wilt Fong Whipper on on Thursday. He hasn't seen a Miami team be this good in his entire life. He heard about it from his parents and his family, but now he's seeing it for himself. Championship level football with the opportunity to do it at home around family and friends and supporters. I think that's very exciting for him and and. Uh, Miami top 10 class last year, pushing for a top, excuse me, top five class last year, pushing for it again. These kind of seasons, we're going to see Miami uh, in that mix for years to come uh, with the results on the field now. Yeah, I was going to say it, it, they're, they're gearing up for a top five class in 2025, the class that we're currently in. And with the returns that we're getting from some of these 2026 prospects, I think that's a good way to gauge kind of where Miami could fall next year. And I think you're, again, you're looking at Miami gunning for another top five finish. And that's kind of been the formula to get Miami back to where they are right now, undefeated under under Mario Cristobal, is stacking these elite recruiting classes. And that's just what we're seeing happen. So coming out of this 53-31 win over Duke, Miami fans, talk to us. How are we feeling about recruiting? And how are you feeling about the rest of the season? They're going to run the table. Let us know. Comment section below.